Well, this looks like a very simple uh, demonstration here. What am I meant to be doing? Aren't we, aren't we testing whether the flame will it will extinguish when it's placed into the bottle? And it doesn't, does it? It doesn't, does it? Yeah. No. So if you <clears throat> light a splint and you insert it into an empty bottle filled with air, it will remain lit. Absolutely, of course. Now bear that in mind for this video. Uh, you can be very intelligent and very good at what you do, and you can still be stupid. Yeah, well, we're back again, annoying people with our views and opinions, because... Because, 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 because... because, because. A lot of people think there's oxygen in the air. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, naturally, of course, in the oh, natural yeah. environment. You know, all around us, we're surrounded by... Oxygen. Oxygen and nitrogen, nitrogen and... Argon. Argon and neon, small trace... Uh, neon, trace crypton, amounts xenon. Of carbon dioxide as well, and all this stuff. And yet, our view, our opinions is that, you know, we're not, you know. It's just air. It's just anyway. air. Air is just air. But anyway, now we've uh, we, we uploaded our video uh, using an ox oxygen concentrator to make nitrogen. We uploaded that video and we had quite, quite good feedback from it. So thank you ever so much, everybody, for giving us some positive feedback. Even negative feedback was quite good, even though we didn't get too much of that. But... Um, um, it's done. It's doing quite well. So we thought we'd do a, 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 a follow-up video, yeah, just to tidy just, up loose ends. Just to tidy up loose ends and to maybe, uh, I don't know, get the point, drive that point home. You know, or our our view and our opinion. You know. Yeah. You know. Anyway, come on. So we so, had a comment from. Uh, is it a Mark? Yeah, we we didn't get too many comments on our on our on this video that were from Globies. No. We haven't had that many comments, which is quite disappointing. But we had one comment from uh, Mark, Mark Leach, Leach, who is a Globy. Do you reckon he's a bit of a leech as well? Leech by name, leech by nature. I'll just do, do this. I don't, I don't know. It's possible, but um, let's go through. Wait there. Have I gone? Oh, here we go. Wait there. Give us a call when you, when we've got him. So uh, he writes when we. Yeah. Oh, here yeah. he is. Yeah, here he is. He's put no. The, no. One, the machine may be taking, say, 2% purish oxygen from the air, and so the expelled gas will be 16% O2 and 76% N2. So it's kind of like saying that the oxygen is taking a little bit of oxygen, but then that still leaves... Blah, blah, blah. Nitrogen, this yeah. would be plenty to keep the flame alight. The machine is designed to purify oxygen, not to purify nitrogen. The machine, according to mainstream, is meant to separate the air separate the oxygen from the nitrogen yeah so if it's gonna if you're gonna separate the oxygen what you got left here absolutely yeah nitrogen like, yeah i'm trying to think of an analogy well it's like yeah. i suppose if you separated um separated um what can you separate yeah, i'm anyway. trying to think anyway, you know. Know. so in two, think. the the flame test is a st as astonishingly crude test three as you know boc are a large company in the business of separating air into O2, N2. But the French company air products are in the same air business. Air liquid. Number four, when using a laboratory vacuum pump cooled with liquid nitrogen, one has to be careful because O2 will condense on the liquid N2 cold finger. And if there are any organic compounds collected, there is a danger of an explosion. So if, hold on, if he's saying that BOC and other companies like air liquid um, separate air, why is it we couldn't detect any nitrogen? Well, yeah, but anyway, so we replied. Number one, have you got any proof of that? Or is that just to remain your idea? Two, the flame test has always been reliably used to determine the presence of certain gases. Nobody can dispute that. Yeah. If the flame goes out, you can't say there's oxygen present because oxygen really lights a glowing splint or it makes a flame glow brighter. Oh. Number three, irrelevant to the video content. 
Yeah. Number four, irrelevant to the video Absolutely. content. Absolutely. We're, we're uninterested in uh, the, anyway. li- the laboratory vacuum pump called with liquid. Not, we're uninterested. Yeah, anyway. Mark, the trouble with Mark Leach is that as we scroll down, he seems to think that a 1450... Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I was going to just uh, add, I think we should, he's, he wrote He wrote here actually, you've made no attempt to test for nitrogen, apart from uh, extinguishing the flame. flame yeah. That's all we've but done. But that is a test for nitrogen. But Absolutely, that's a test for nitrogen. But we could have other gases like carbon dioxide. Can't be a test for oxygen because it would relight a glowing splint or it'd make a, a, a lit splint glow brighter. Sure. Uh, your splint flame test is a test for the presence of oxygen. Absolutely thinking about it. The flame test does have a slight degree of subtlety. So he's basically criticising the, the, our test for yeah, anyway. the presence of nitrogen. So bear that in mind as, we, as you watch the video. Ah. This is why we need to do a follow-up, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Tell me, Mark, does nitrogen extinguish a flame? Yes or no? Yep. Yes on. or no? Come on, Mark. Does the nitrogen extinguish the flame? We put the flame inside the bag and it went out. Okay, so... So here we go. 0% oxygen will extinguish a flame. <laughs> How, 0% oxygen will extinguish a flame. So yes, 100% nitrogen will extinguish a flame. Yeah, oh, right, okay. As will 100% argon or 100% CO2. What is so your what's point? Your point? It is not the nitrogen that extinguishes the flame, but the lack of oxygen. Right, okay. Now, he's, ha- he's having trouble to admit that we produce nitrogen. Yeah. This is the problem that he's having. Yeah. He's got the bare evidence... Facts, whatever you want to call it, the video f- footage, staring him right in the face. But he won't admit that we produce nitrogen. Yeah. So well, we could have produced nitrogen, yeah, or likely so, to have. So produced. now tell me, Mark, from 1450, did the splint go out when introduced into the bag? Yes or no? Yeah, we'll pick it up from here. And he's put, he's replied, yes, the splint remained alight. Yeah, well, I was going to mix, uh, omit those because he, he gets them mixed up. Cause yeah, he, he thought the time quoted was 450. Not 1450, even though we had typed 1450. 1450. Yeah, sure. So, so he wrote, the, the 1450 result is most interesting. Oh. Can I suggest that at high pressure, the carbon molecular sieve removes oxygen from the air? So uh, that what would that leave? Well, absolutely. He's, he's having a very difficult problem. Well, he's having a very difficult job of just admitting that, well, according to his science and the way he thinks... We should be left with nitrogen. Yeah. And he doesn't want to admit that yeah. for some weird reason, you know. As I said before, our entire industries are based on liquefying air and then cryogenic, cryogenic, cryogenically distilling and purifying the various components. Your conclusion that nitrogen oh. is synthesized is not proven at all. Oh, hold on. Next, oh, you're well. going to tell me the earth is flat. All oh, right. <laughs> The, the guys, well, hold on. He says, "Can I suggest that at high pressure, the carbon molecular sieve removes the oxygen f- from the air?" A, you got to show that there is oxygen in the air to uh, begin with. Absolutely, of course. And when we first used our oxygen concentrator, we produced oxygen, but we couldn't find any nitrogen. We couldn't detect any nitrogen so, being exhausted from the machine. So we can only conclude that the machine just processes air in its entirety to produce that gas oxygen to produce oxygen the properties of an oxygenated gas absolutely of course or produces the properties of a nitrogenous gas absolutely so so we asked him at what point in the video did you observe oxygen being removed removed from from the air yeah you know i mean you know I, i i don't see any you know, I don't yeah. see any, and this is at fourteen fifty when we had the carbon, carbon molecular, molecular sieve, sieve yeah. in the molecular sieve tower. You know, yeah, because because we wouldn't have been able to have produced oxygen with that setup. Well, using mainstream's understanding of how uh, uh, pressure swing adsorption systems work, we should have been we should have had oxygen being released from the exhaust, but we didn't. We couldn't. We couldn't don't remember detect the, it. Remember these are called molecular sieves. So on a molecular level they will trap in, say, the oxygen to allow the nitrogen to pass through. Or, or 
trapping the nitrogen to allow the oxygen to pass sure. through. Sure, and all of these atoms, so we're, so we're led to understand, are all of a certain size. And, uh, you know, you can't, if they say to you that nitrogen is exhausted, then how can you get oxygen being exhausted from an oxygen concentrator? Yeah. You know. Anyway, let's show, anyway. So let's show people what we've done. So, yeah, we had to do a follow-up uh, from, the, from the previous video simply because um, there were a few loose ends. In other words, and one did, of, did we produce nitrogen? Yeah, one of them was actually test the gas that we produced. Yeah, so what we thought we'd do is we'd actually uh, have a have a very good, be very, uh, what's the word, meticulous, thorough. Uh, thorough, and try and test the gas to see if it was indeed nitrogen. Yeah. Now, uh, firstly, we have to point out that a lot of people may have challenged our demonstration because we didn't use an oil-free compressor. So the oil may have stained the air. Yeah, and extinguished so the flame. Or, it's a possibility. Or so what we're showing to people now in the video, yeah. and that is the air from an oil... Uh, compressor, oil-filled compressor. Oil-filled compressor will not put out a flame. flame. So we've got uh, we've got the compressor on the right hand side there. Oh, we're just showing that we've got it. Yeah, we've, we've got, got there's there's an air stream coming out of the, and then we realise well we only need it to fill up the bag, don't we? Yeah, really? I know. Yeah, yeah. Of well, course, just move it forward. Oh, I don't know. I'm trying to work out how to. I don't know how to. Oh, yeah. there, there you go. So we've got uh, we've got two bar pressure on the this valve. Is it, this is it going into the machine. You jumped ahead. Oh, is it? Have I jumped ahead? Oh, I, no, yeah, I haven't. You have. So, anyway, so let's start. Oh, right, yeah. You're right, yeah. So, there's the bag. We've got uh, filling up the bag with air from the compressor, as you can see. You uh, can do this at home. Anyone can do this at home. This is, you know, if you want to satisfy your own inquisition, your own curiosity, sorry, you know, or inquisitiveness, you know, you can do all these at home, you know. Yeah. So we've got a bag filled with compressed air that's come from the compressor, yeah. direct from the compressor. And uh, we're just going to check to see whether um, it will extinguish a flame. And let's have a little look. And no, it doesn't. It no, doesn't, it doesn't. It doesn't no. extinguish the flame at all. So it's clear that whatever goes on in the um, molecular sieve tower is causing the air to not support combustion. We, 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 you know, that is undeniable. Yeah. We can't. So we're cook, uh, cooking. We're hooking up the compressor to the oxygen concentrator that's filled with carbon molecular sieve. And uh, we're going to hook that up. You want to move it forward. Right, OK, there we go. And we're showing to everyone. Now, we got it down to... We got it down to... Two bar. Two bar. OK, two Roughly. bar. Roughly two bar, okay, that's going into the mo molecular sieve tower. Two bar, which is quite low. Okay, so... And you can argue, move because you didn't release the whole... Because <coughs> you didn't open the valve, valve yeah. that much, then it's probably less than that. Oh, probably, yeah, sure. So, as you can see, what we're doing, we've got the machine running, and we're filling the bag with... Um, the airstream that's coming from the carbon molecular sieve, not the exhausted. Uh, yeah, so airstream. remove it forward because it's so just move it forward. Yeah, this go, can go on for some time. Here we go. Look, you can see that bag getting big, 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 big. So we thought we'd do essentially do what we did in our previous video, and that is, will it re, will it extinguish the flame? Yeah, we thought on. we'd we'd test this. So there we go. And yeah, it, go, it. it goes out. Yeah, there you so go. we, I keep the bag open. Okay, keep oh, the bag we open. Do it again. And we light the splint. There you go. And it goes, it goes into the, into the bag, plastic bag, and it's gone out. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, we missed one because we did it twice, didn't we? Yeah. We did it twice. We did it twice. To apologise. There we go. We got the lips. This is the first time. Sorry. What you saw was the second time. So the splint's gone in, the lit splint, and there you go, it's gone out. So what we do is I hold the bag open, and we light the splint again, 
and we pop the, the lit splint back into the bag and there you go, it's, it's gone, gone out, out again. again. So oh, yeah. twice in a row, it's gone out. Third time, it remains lit, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. But obviously, we've got the bag wide open, so you know a lot of the air that's in the bag is just going to be contaminated with the air from or the air that's gone into the bag will support the flame. Absolutely, of course, yes. Yeah. So, but t on two occasions, okay, the bag, on two occasions, the bag uh, was filled with air that didn't support combustion. Okay, okay, and what we're beginning to understand is that this appears to be a very reliable way of producing this gas. Mm, yeah. Very reliable, you know. Yeah. So, so let's put put the air through more. So, yeah. So what we do tests. now is we put put the air through more tests. I think w our next job is to test the exhaust gas yeah, to on. see whether that will. Um, Put out a flame. Put out a flame. Extinguish a flame or whether a flame will... I think we've already done it there. So there's the bag. And we're lighting the splints. Will the exhaust gas... OK. Put out the flame of the splint. Here we go. Let's have a little butchers. And no, no. it doesn't. No, it doesn't at all. No. So there's obviously some difference between the exhaust gas and the gas that comes out the front of the machine yeah. exactly the same as what we saw with the when it was filled with the ox oxygen molecular sieve yeah. yeah oxygen out the front whereas the other the other one didn't really like the glowing splint did it I'm no, sure. it no it didn't the exhaust didn't really like the glowing splint yeah. so here we've got some uh Lime water, because some some of you out there might think, well, you could be producing CO two. Okay, well, let's do some lime oh, water. Oh yeah, because the oxygen uh, has reacted with the carbon molecular sieve. Oh, well, right, yeah, sure. So there you go. Let's just do that. Fill that, fill that up. There we go. Now I blow through one test tube. So we've got two test tubes filled with lime water, and I blow through one. Just to show to everyone, the lime water will turn milky. Well, yeah, the lime water works. The lime water works. There we go. Because we've had this lime water in the tub for months, months, haven't we? So there you go. It's active. It does actually work. So we should expect this gas. If it's nitrogen, the gas shouldn't turn milky. Sorry, the liquid, the lime water shouldn't turn milky. Turn, yeah. The gas shouldn't turn the lime water milky. That's what I meant to yeah. say. So we're bubbling the... So we, then we could rule out... CO2. CO2. Absolutely, of course. So we're bubbling the, um, the air stream machine call that comes CO2. out the front of the machine with the carbon molecular sieve. We're bubbling it through lime water. Yeah. And we leave it there for quite some time, don't we? Yeah, really? keep going. Probably about, probably about 10 minutes, I'm sure. 10 minutes there we go if we take the uh, I'm sure that's about 10 minutes I'm not sure. well anyway or something very similar so you can see very clearly the no change no change no uh, point absolutely it hasn't worked so we've got we can rule out carbon dioxide yeah. by oh. by carbon dioxide yeah because there's no salt and there's no acid absolutely of course in what we're using the airstream hasn't doesn't contain a salt and an acid. and acid yeah so what we've got here is we've got some uh, some people say but it contains carbon and oxygen what we've got here is we've got some uh, we've got uh, some water and what we're going to do is we're going to carry out a very simple litmus paper test red and blue litmus paper test and as far as i'm aware um um, nitrogen will, will not change red litmus paper, moistened oh. litmus paper, red litmus paper, or moistened blue litmus paper. So red litmus paper to blue, and blue litmus paper to red. It won't change if it's nitrogen. Okay. So I've got because it's not acidic, and it's not an alkali. Absolutely, it's kind of like neutral. I'm sure, I don't know whether nitrogen's like inert, whether they refer to nitrogen as being inert. I don't inert. know, you'd have to look up uh, on so Wikipedia. So we've moistened the blue litmus paper there. Whether we've got it in focus yeah. or not, I don't know. Yeah. There, there we go. And I'm just running the, the airline, the hose over the litmus paper, and it's, you know, it's not changing colour at all. 
it's not doing it and it remains like that all the time I do it yeah. you know so we can't really say move that we're producing it looks good that we we have produced nitrogen so I clean up the uh, hose and, and you we do it again with the red litmus paper do it again with the red litmus paper here we go can I move yeah, it no, yeah sure there we go so you can see me doing it there cleaning uh, feels if I was cleaning that litmus paper oh, yeah. but the litmus paper red litmus paper isn't turning blue not at all it's not changing colour so from both of those um, tests we can we can safely conclude from all of those tests that we have produced Juice. nitrogen, nitrogen. Yeah. using the method of having a uh, compressor compress the air and then entering into an oxygen concentrator where the molecular sieve towers are filled with carbon molecular sieve you know we could safely say we've done that yeah it's extinguished the flame it doesn't turn the litmus paper any color no change uh well you know if you if anyone out there knows of a test we can carry out on this airstream to test that it would be nitrogen no, that it's let not us know. nitrogen or that or that it's not nitrogen or to confirm that it is nitrogen oh right, right. you know let us know well, let us know in the comment below i think what we've done here is enough to confirm to me that it is not yeah absolutely. i've I'm, i've got no i've got no mark if you're listening absolutely yeah i've got nitrogen. no doubt in me whatsoever that the gas stream we produce from the front of the machine is nitrogen anyway so which that's is, not changing which is really good that's not we don't need to do anymore yeah, no? there was uh, one more that we did oh right yeah of course so, oh there was one more test we did so, so that, that hasn't, hasn't changed done. so what we did on our next test the final test with this airstream is that we filled up a, a bottle with a small amount of water plastic bottle filled with a small amount of water and we're filling up the headspace of the bottle with the nitrogen with nitrogen okay because i've 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 thought to myself that what what could happen here is that when we if we were to screw the top on once the bottle's filled with nitrogen and we give it a vigorous shake the bottle give it a vigorous shake the bottle might collapse okay because some of the gas is absorbed into the water it's possible or what else did i say could have happened oh when we put in a lit splint into the bottle the flame would remain lit so we thought we'd better test, yeah, test because if, if 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 you think about uh shaking the bottle the water would cleanse the the air within the bottle and remove any impurities and might remove some of, some impurities that would put out a, a flame. flame absolutely of course yeah and render the air um normal normal to be able yeah. to support combustion breathable breathable so we're filling this up this takes quite some time yeah, i want to get the bit forward. where i want to get the bit where we where put you a in, candle uh, we put a splint, splint at the top of the splint. bottle here we go so this is to just to show that we've got the bottle filled with nitrogen we're going to put a lit splint around the nozzle just to see if it goes out and it, it's, no, it's gone, gone out. out there you go it's gone out so we can safely say the bottle's filled with nitrogen isn't that good you know yeah. so on many occasions this gas stream that we're producing is putting out extinguishing a flame yeah and that's a hallmark of nitrogen yeah. isn't it absolutely yeah. yeah of course even i have a go because even i want to get in get in the action yeah, but it doesn't work so well well it's i don't know i'd argue that you can see that it's uh you can see there oh, right, you can yeah. see there it's it's being attacked by the gas stream that's coming out yeah. The flow rate was quite small. We didn't turn the flow rate up. Anyway, come on, move the machine. But anyway, so we're we're quite happy. There's nitrogen in the bottle. We leave it for a little while. Move it forward. There we go. And here we go. So there we go. We've we put the closure on the bottle. There we go. Oh, move it forward. Let's yeah. move forward. And we give and it a shake. shake. There we go. Giving it a good old shake. Now, as you can see, there's no collapse of the plastic bottle. Okay, so if we had CO2 in there, for example, and we give it a vigorous, give the bottle a vigorous shape, the bottle would collapse. Whereas this bottle doesn't do that at all. No. It remains uh, in its, uh, keeps 
it's integrity, doesn't mm. it? Yeah. That's because it's gone through the uh, pressure swinger, the, the concentrator, and the concentrator has concentrated that air. That, yeah, sure. And it's also dry as well. Uh, yeah, absolutely, of course, yeah. Very dry indeed. So what we're going to do now, we've given it a shake, bottle hasn't collapsed so the next thing to do is to give it one it's, more shake obviously well is to see whether it will put out the flame now will it put will the air sh will the air in the headspace extinguish the flame this is our next big question will it do it or not if it if it doesn't do it and the flame remains lit then we've got to think well what's happening here mm. it's okay um so i'm just going to go there we go so there's the bottle top opened there we go, tilt it slightly, in it goes, and it goes out. It goes out, instantly. It goes, instantly goes out. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and that ties in with the video we showed at the beginning. Absolutely, and we do this another time and it still goes out, oh, Yeah, doesn't it? And absolutely, you're right, yeah. Remember the video at the beginning? And now look at this. It's gone out again. It's gone out again, oh, yeah. you know. Um, whereas before we did it, you know. You might as well show that video again. The video at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, the video at the beginning. Here we go. Here's the video at the beginning. We we played it for everyone. We've got the split in here. This this bottle just contains normal air. Okay. Look out. It's an empty bottle as well. It's got moisture inside it as well. But um, there you oh, go. Yeah, look. Look. There you go. Look. It stays remains, lit. Stays lit. Remains lit. Whereas before it went out. Okay. So, you know. You know, after doing after doing all of those tests, we can confirm. We can confirm. We're quite satisfied to say that we did use an oxygen concentrator to make nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah. Now, those are our views and our opinions based on what we've done. Okay. Now, other people may have other views and opinions. What's been yeah. going on? What's happened? Where did the nitrogen go? What happened to the oxygen? All this kind yeah. of stuff. Whereas, you know, we're quite satisfied that our understanding of what we experienced and what we did is, you know, is... It's good. It's good. Yeah. So, you know, th yeah. they have in, it. In that, we were producing an oxygen... Ox the machine produces an oxygenated airstream. The machine produces a nitrogenous airstream if you changed the... Molecular, molecular sieve. sieve and material. Altered the pressure. And change the pressure slightly. Yeah, so it's our view and our opinion that air um, can't be separated into oxygen, nitrogen, sure, yeah. for example. Because there is no oxygen and nitrogen in the air. Yeah, those are our opinions based on what we've done. Yeah. You know, um, you can process the air to make your oxygen or to make your nitrogen. Sure. But you can't split it you can't split the air absolutely of course yeah and it, this ties in very similar to our views on water you can't split water so, into hydrogen and oxygen. oxygen absolutely of course yeah so anyway i think that wraps us up there yeah. for our little follow-up for yeah using an oxygen concentrator to make nitrogen yeah but i think that's that's done and dusted you know yeah least, absolutely of course and at least we know that we've got a great source of nitrogen if ever we need it Absolutely, of course. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good point. Yeah, of course. And finally, I've got to mention. Do many apologies about the sound on the on this video on the pre our previous yeah. video. We we did we used um, we mm. didn't we, we failed to realise that our the microphone we used chest uh, clip on microphone Valier, uh, recorded in mono. Yeah, and so it's we, a mono mic. Yeah, we didn't we didn't we overlooked that. And we could have changed it to stereo, but we just didn't know. So yeah, next time, next time it'll be fine. Okay, so many, so many thanks. That's it. It's all done and yeah. dusted. See you later. Leave us a comment below. Let us yeah. know what you Take think. Take care. All the best. Take care. All the best, and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Ta da. The Earth isn't round. It's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat everywhere. It's flat.